Hey, Bob WP here, and welcome to Do the Boo the WooCommerce and WordPress Builder Podcast. Today's show is brought to you by GoDaddy. Whether you're just starting to build that Woo shop for a client or looking to expand or scale an existing site, GoDaddy's e-commerce hosting solution is there for you and your projects. Expand a client store with access to thousands of extensions or scale big time with conversion tools, multiple staff accounts, and more. And if you continue to manage the site or hand it over to your client, a single dashboard is filled with powerful tools. So check out their e-commerce hosting over on GoDaddy.com. As you may know, we have been talking quite a bit about AI here and there on this podcast. And trust me, it won't quit anytime soon, as you can guess. Last show, we heard from Dave and Dan with some insights via Automatic. And recently, I asked the community this question. What will be some of the impacts on AI with e-commerce? Listen in as Patrick, Remkus, Katie, Kelly, and Scott give their insights into what they see is happening now and in the future. Hello, hello. My name is Patrick Rolland, and I am working at eCommerce Fuel as the head of research and content. Now, eCommerce Fuel is a private community of seven figure plus merchants, and they have been talking nonstop about AI. And mostly what I've seen them talk about is repurposing content. So you can take a blog post and easily turn it into a tweet thread. You can take a video podcast and use AI to find the compelling moments and clip them to share on LinkedIn or YouTube Shorts or wherever. And you can repurpose all of that into a newsletter that you send on Fridays automatically. So AI is incredibly powerful for someone in marketing who needs to repurpose content. I think almost everyone should be using it for that. Now, for those of you who resell products, I have a negative prediction. Uh, Manufacturers in China who relied on sellers, native English sellers, to write compelling product descriptions to sell those products may decide to go vertical and sell directly to the customer. Now, I've always been a fan of manufacturing your own products. If you haven't thought about that before, now is an excellent time to just to start thinking about that and, and manufacturing your own products so that you have a defensible business. So to wrap up, Definitely use AI to help you repurpose content into different mediums and contexts. Almost everyone everyone should be doing this. And think about your business model. Uh, manufacturers who rely on resellers to move their products have technology that empowers them to sell directly to customers. So I would look into manufacturing my own goods. Overall, new technology, just like AI, can be scary. And I, I genuinely feel that myself. But I do have hope and optimism for this industry, and I think it will streamline a lot of boring work. So I'm excited for that. Hi, Bob. This is Remkus. AI has a big impact on e-commerce, sure. I think that's mostly on the content side of things. Uh, But what the absolute beautiful thing about AI and the current state of what it is capable of doing, where I think the true magic lies is the call it a buddy, like from the from a coding and understanding impact of coding perspective. I think that's where the most amount of progress is to be made. You can see AI being a threat, sure. You can say it's taking away part of my 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 job as a developer. I don't think that's a fair fair way to look at it. I see it as a buddy. I see it as a rubber duck. I see it as a inspiration it if you thought of a solution, right, AI can tell you, yes, this is a probable solution to use, or it can tell you, you know what, there's also this other solution, maybe this is a better fit. So using it to complement your work is, I think, where the strength of AI is. I, I will go as far as saying that's not just programming side of things, or but that's also on the content side of things. If you're using AI solely to generate content, yeah, you're missing out. That's you have to be really good at your prompts and find a way to um, incorporate your own personal writing and stuff in there. So that's not a smart way to approach it, but using it as a, as a coach, as a guidance, as a friend, as a rubber duck, all of those things, that's to me where the magic is. And with that, the future. Hi, I'm Katie, and I'm co-founder and CEO at Bantu Plugins. 
We specialize in building WooCommerce plugins. And while we're not actively incorporating AI into any of our plugins yet, I think that AI will have a big impact on e-commerce in the future. Most of the plugin companies I know are now using AI to support their work, and this is a real game changer. For example, developers are using AI as a code assistant and marketers are using it to generate ideas, outlines and so on. However, fewer plugin builders have started to use AI in ways that directly benefit their customers, particularly in e-commerce. I'm fascinated to see how AI can make the shopping experience better for customers and store owners. In a non-AI world, there were lots of plugins to do this, such as filter plugins, which help customers to find products based on specific criteria. However, AI could take this a step further by actively matching customers with suitable products based on personal data provided by the customer about their needs and tastes. The customer could even upload images of their style and have the AI recommend items they'd like. I'm certain that AI will have a big impact on customer service for e-commerce sites. While I haven't tested any chatbots for AI yet, which I feel are good enough to advise customers, the industry is developing so fast that I'm sure this will happen soon and the quality will keep improving. Once AI chatbots reach the required standard, they will be able to listen to customers' needs and help them to find the products they want, as well as dealing with any problems instantly. I'm watching these developments with interest. Plugin builders can also create products that use AI to help WooCommerce store owners. WooCommerce reporting has never been great, and by hooking this up with AI tools, you could vastly improve this by allowing store owners to type questions and have the data presented in a much more accessible format, telling them the exact information they need. Hi, my name is Kelly Muro, and I am the CEO of North Commerce. I think one of the really interesting things that will happen with AI and e-commerce is going to be taking advantage of these GPT language models to help iterate different conversion rate optimization tests more thoroughly and faster. So there'll be a huge advantage owning your own database and, and data. So WordPress, any e-commerce solution on WordPress will, will have a huge advantage when it comes to AI and e-commerce. So what you'd be able to do is you could give some chat GPT experience, just a prompt that says something like, give me my best customers and show me what they've been doing on my website. And, and then the AI model would aggregate that data that lives on your site and show you some patterns of what you can do. And then from there, you'd be able to implement different designs, different flows, different upsells or something to convert more customers. And so I think it'll be super interesting to see how things play out in general with AI. But I do think that, especially in the context of WordPress, we can feed these GPT models as much data as we want, since we own all the data in our own WordPress database. And we could, in just plain English, ask what's working and what's not, and where should we be looking to convert more customers? Where are they getting hung up? And what products are they purchasing? And then the AI model would just help us work. Now you can even pair that with other software tools like Elevar and like triple these advanced tracking softwares as well that could help even explain where your customers are coming from. And then you could double down on paid spend or organic traffic or whatever it might be. So I think there'll be some interesting use cases with AI, but I think one of the big ones will be helping implement more conversion rate optimization tests for your store quicker with data that makes sense for people. Like the regular user could just type in anything and it would just make sense in plain English what their customers are doing. They don't have to like have these advanced analytics softwares. They could just talk to the chatbot, learn what they need to know, and then just create the designs directly on their website to improve conversions. So that'll be interesting. And I think that'll be a big part of AI with, with e-commerce. Hi, I'm Scott Bowler, and I'm founder and owner of DCS Digital. So AI, in my mind, is going to have a massive impact on e-commerce and WooCommerce in general. I think we're going to see a big move to automation of manual processes, such as the creation of product descriptions. I think we're going to see smarter customer support, both via on-site chatbots and ticketing systems. 
And in tandem with this, we're going to see increased documentation so that the AI tools can better answer support. And depending on how this is exposed, that could benefit the customer on the website. So content on the website, it could benefit SEO and it should improve the general quality of processes and kind of interaction with the customer. I also think we're going to see a lot more on-site solutions rather than using third-party tools and SaaS solutions to do this because the technology is fairly simple where you can create a plugin on WordPress and have it interact directly with tools like OpenAI and their API endpoints. So there's no real need for an intermediary to handle that interaction. I also think we're going to see conversational AI being as prominent as search. People will get used to being able to chat with an AI to get their answers. And just as search is often the first point of call for people when they visit a website, I think they're going to want to converse with the website, its products, its policies, and so on. And lastly, I think there's going to be a lot of new opportunities for traffic generation. So if you think about being in Bard in particular, where you don't need to have a login necessarily to be able to chat with an AI, and that AI is going out and performing searches and finding relevant products. I think we're going to see the chat interface as a new traffic source. So similar to how you've got a Facebook page, I think there's going to be a lot of people visiting an AI interface, and that interface will bring back products and pages from your website. And of course, within ChatGPT itself, we've got the opportunity for plugins. And people will need to enable those plugins for them to work. And I think we're going to see a lot of e- large e-commerce brands encouraging people to install their chat GPT plugins to interact with their shop whilst they're in that conversational world. This is really just scratching the surface. This is just looking at more of the language-based AIs rather than all the image opportunities and video and things like that. So it's a huge topic to cover in three minutes, but hopefully I've given a few insights there for you. Hey, Bob WP here, and I want to thank all five from the WordPress and WooCommerce community who shared their perspective here on Do The Woo. It's interesting to hear the overlap in some of the predictions, which shows us that AI has obvious impact now and as we move forward. And if you have something to add, go to the post on our site. I've added the comments or at least opened them up on this post at the very, very, very bottom of the page. Lastly, a shout out to our sponsor once again, GoDaddy. For your next e-commerce client site, consider their solution if it's right for you and your client at GoDaddy.com. So until the next time, keep on doing the woo.